Hi, and welcome to week 47 of the Monologue Project. This week we have Strawberries in January by, hold on, Evelyn de la Chandelier, translated by Rona Monroe. The character is Sophie. Um, it's, it has all of the things I hate about most female monologues and some of the things I love about them all at the same time. So it is, in fact, you know, yet another please love me uh, monologue, but it it's very interesting in how it's structured because it starts off like the first probably two thirds of it is one sentence. And so it just becomes this like cacophony of noise coming out of her as she tries to um, work up the nerve to say what it is she's asking for and then not getting the response that she wants. Um, also, if you look at just the structure of each individual phrase that also sort of changes as the piece goes on. And so you can really sort of get an idea of her mindset as the piece continues. Um, but it's a great length. It's great for, um, my guess is probably um, 20s, early 30s. It could be played older. It does, that doesn't really say, um, but it seems like these characters are roommates and that tends to be something we do when we're a little bit on the younger side. So anyway, so great piece. Uh, have fun playing with this one. Again, this is Strawberries and January by Evelyn de la Chenelier, translated by M Rona Monroe, and it's Sophie. I know this isn't the way you're supposed to do it, and, and that is a bit of a worry, but I said to myself, life's short, and if everyone always waits for everyone else to make the first move, you can waste an awful lot of time. And I know you sometimes watch me sleeping. I know because I'm not actually sleeping and I know when we're drinking wine and talking in the sitting room together until two in the morning it, it's just agony for both of us to go to our separate beds and even if every couple tears each other apart and we both made fun of all those couples that tear each other apart I I think we owe it to ourselves to try and grab something that might tear us apart and so I don't see why if we like shopping together and doing housework together and eating breakfast together watching old films together i don't really see why we wouldn't like making love together because that's something a lot more exciting it seems to me than shopping and housework at old films so i'm asking you to marry me in the spring i know conventionally i'm not supposed to be the one to ask but you prefer unconventional so i'm asking you to marry me in the spring or outside next winter because it's conventional to get married in the spring. That was the moment when you would have asked to kiss me or something, so I don't really know what to say now. I tried this out in front of the mirror this morning and I thought it came over well and thought it was quite moving. I suppose we can talk about it tonight.